Hey, maybe it'll be better if he doesn't see us together. You sure you'll be okay? He's my father. Maybe if I can talk to him alone, I can try to make him understand. If you need me. Daddy? Sugar bear. Oh, honey, I was so worried about you. you still be mad at me. Honey, I am not mad at you. Now that I found out that that unspeakable nastiness wasn't your fault, I'm not angry with you. I don't know what you mean. Honey, you're not a lesbian, OK? You never were. It was Alistair. Alistair paid some woman to seduce you. I you know. Yes. Alistair tried to do it. He tried to make me upset. He tried to get me so upset that I would just go off. But honey, you are just as normal as us. Daddy. I don't know what you're talking about, but you're wrong. I really am attracted to women. No. No, no, you're not. Because that degenerate woman, she brainwashed you, sweetheart. She was paid by Alistair to make her twisted move on you. You don't, you don't mean Ray. Ray. Oh, so that's her name. Yeah, because that's the email that Alistair sent to me about you and Ray. Honey, it was so disgusting to see that you were scammed. Do you understand that? I know that you can never commit an abomination against nature on your own. So Ray was paid to come on to me? Yes, Alistair paid her. And honey, I am so sorry that you had to be exposed to all that filth, but sweetheart, in time, you will heal. Daddy, no. I, I, I don't know what you saw on that email, but you're wrong. Ray is not like that. How would you know, huh? You didn't even know that she took money from Alistair Crane. Seems to me you don't know too much about this Ray. You know, come to think of it, she could have been the woman that was trying to kill Alistair tonight. Daddy, just because she is gay doesn't make her a killer. Alistair probably faked what you saw. Ray fell in love with me because of me. If she cared so much about you, then why did she take money from Alistair? I don't know that she did. Well, I bet she probably just wigged out and tried to kill him. Daddy, I, that is not Ray at all. You are the one that gets angry and flies out of control all the time. You're just, you're just trying to point the finger at Ray because, because you are the one who tried to kill Alistair. That is why you are making up these stories about Ray. You're just trying to deflect suspicion away from yourself. What the hell are you talking about? You are the one with the out of control temper. You tried to kill Alistair. What's going on here? I was just trying to put your daughter at ease. You're not a lesbian. TC. Oh. She's not. She was tricked by Alistair. That woman brainwashed you. Alistair tricked you into some unnatural relationship to try to get me upset and break up my family. But there's nothing wrong with that little girl. Nothing that a good boyfriend. Stop can it, fix. Daddy! I'm not gay because of Ray. I was already attracted to women. Ray is just the first person that I ever saw. I do not want to hear that. Too bad. Do you think that people become gay because someone thinks it's a good idea and buys them a pair of army boots? It doesn't work like that. I am gay because I am gay. You're only saying that because you're hooked by that woman. The same woman who is probably guilty of attempted murder tonight. Stop trying to pin everything on Ray. Everybody knows that you are the one with the hair trigger temper. You are the one that has threatened to kill Alistair and Julian for as long as I can remember. And, and if it is true, what you said, that you saw pictures of me with Ray, of course you flew off the handle and you tried to stab Alistair Crane. It was you, Daddy. You did it. You are... Did you ever... Let's just do like that again. TC. Julian, this is my business. Yes, and it is my business. And how dare you strike my child? How could you, Daddy? How could you... What happened? Did you talk to your father? I was an idiot to think that I could. He went crazy on me. I'm so sorry. No, don't, don't, don't touch me. Sorry, I just wanted to comfort you. You know, my dad told me all about you. He told me that you were working for Alistair Crane and that he paid you to start a relationship with me. Is that true, Ray? Is everything that we shared just some job for you? Is it true, Ray? Did Alistair pay you to seduce me? I can't believe you're asking me this. 
Well, that's what my father said. He said that he had proof sent to him by Alistair, that he'd seen pictures. I want the truth, Ray. Yeah, I know Mr. Crane. He loaned me money to start my club. But you never said it anything about business, that. It was business, Simone. I don't share all my financial dealings with you. But you have to believe me. That is the only connection that I have to Alistair Crane. Your name's never come up. No one told me or paid me to go after you. I saw you one night, and I was drawn to you. That's why I introduced myself. That's why I asked you to dance. But, but you broke up with me out of the blue, Ray. One minute you were telling me that you loved me, and the next minute you were breaking my heart. You're so young, Simone. I'm the first real relationship you've had with anyone, male or female. So? So I'm older. I've been around a little. Look, it's natural to fall in love with the first person you've been intimate with. But I'm not up to that kind of commitment right now. Doesn't mean that I don't care about you. I just didn't want you to think that it was forever. I don't know what to think anymore. I'm telling you the truth, Simone. I would never lie to you. Even though you don't want to be with me. Well, that's up to you. If you still want to get together sometimes, I'd like that. I just don't want there to be any misunderstandings about what it means. If you need a full-time commitment from me, then we better call it quits right now. You do better with someone who can give that to you. It's up to you, Simone. It's up to you, Simone. I'd love to keep you in my life. Just not as your one and only girlfriend. No. But you are definitely my favorite girlfriend. Am I the only person in this house who believe that it's wrong for two people of the same sex to be together? I need a break. Oh, hell no. Daddy, what are you spying on me? Stay away from my daughter. I don't take orders from you. Well, you better because she's my little girl. Maybe that's the problem. She's not a little girl anymore. She's old enough to make her own decisions. See whoever she wants to see. Don't even try to argue with my father. I'll argue with anybody who tries to give me orders about my personal business. Don't be scared of him, Simone. You're an adult. You really do get to make your own choices. Not when it involves you, she doesn't. Go get your mother. I'm gonna deal with you right now. Don't let him run you off, Simone. You don't have to take his garbage anymore. If your daughter wants to keep seeing me, it's her business, not yours. It's not gonna happen, lady. Well, I use that term very loosely. That sounds like a threat, Coach Russell. You don't wanna threaten me. Take my word for it. You come after me, you are going to wish you had never been born. Let's go, Simone. Let's get out of here. 